Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. I'm your host, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough. Welcome and thank you for joining Sister Power. Our topic for this episode is Impact Your Health. Amen, free clinic in Honolulu. Adventist Medical Evangelism Network is acronyms for AMEN. Despite the recent rollout of the Affordable Care Act, there are still 40 million Americans without health insurance and 100 million without dental coverage. We don't have to travel overseas to find a need when there's a mission field in our own backyard. Today, Sister Power will discuss bringing life by providing free professional health care with a VIP guest, Bill Watson Payne, Senior Pastor of the Honolulu Central Seventh-day Adventist Church. Welcome to Sister Power, Pastor Payne. Thank you, Sharon. It is great to be here. Thank you for having me on your show. Oh, thank you for coming. Tell us a bit, a little bit about yourself and your background. Well, uh, I am from the beautiful island of Jamaica. And I left Jamaica when I was 11 years old. I lived in New York, lived in Vermont, lived in Texas, Michigan, and I think my favorite place, Hawaii. Ah, absolutely. Yes. And you've been at the Honolulu Central Church for how long? I've been at the Honolulu Central Church since February of 2016. That's a short time. It is a short time, but that's not my only experience with Hawaii. I first came to Hawaii in 1996, where uh, my wife was in the military, and so we were pastoring in, in uh, Houston, Texas, and she called me and says, I'm on orders to go to Hawaii. And I said, hmm, pack your bags, let's go. And so we came to Hawaii in 19, October uh, 1996, and we pastored until uh, 2006 here. Then I went back to stateside, worked on um, my MDiv and um, DMIN, and uh, came back here in 2016. Uh, we're so happy to have you. And, and if no one has told you, you, you and your lovely wife, Audrey, you have done a remarkable job in leading um, the church forward. Thank and I want you to so thank much. you for, for thank that. You. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Yes. And this is what we're going to talk about today mm -hmm. is health care. Yes. And, which is just very important in the yes. state that we're into right now. And tell us about the movement at Venice Medical Evangelism Network mm -hmm. of like-minded medical professionals yes. who are committed to restoring the body and reclaiming the heart. Yes, yes. I first learned about this group in uh, 2000 and um, late 2016, and, I, and I, I heard about what they do. And so I, I called and inquired about their services. And a few months later, the doctor, Dr. Vin Trin, he, he came to Hawaii on, um, on, on vacation. And so I invited him to, to our church and he came and he checked out our facilities. And he says, this would be an ideal place. We, uh, we have three stories on one building, and then we have our huge sanctuary that seats a thousand, and then we have that huge open area where we can um, do different things. And so he was excited, and he says, um, he says we can do this. We don't, we don't have to go to the um, convention center or different places. We can do it right here on our campus. And so I got, I got even more excited because being there, it would be less expensive for us, you know? And so um, in a few months, December of 2016, um, he went to um, America Samoa, I'm sorry, 2017, he went to America Samoa, and they were able to service 300 people per day. And so over four days, they were able to see a little bit over 1,200 people, uh, medical, uh, dental, and um, 
fitting them for eyeglasses and, and so on. And so what a tremendous ministry. The need is there. There are so many of our people who are underinsured and or don't have insurance at all. We have a huge homeless population here in uh, Honolulu, uh, the state of Hawaii. Um, but uh, we can only we are only servicing um, uh, Oahu. But this is it was so excited to me, exciting to me that we can reach some of our people. We can do what Jesus really wants us to do. He says, you know, I was naked and you didn't clothe me. I was hungry, you did not feed me. I was in prison, you didn't visit me, you know. And so, so for those who are, have this need and the health care, so important. Um, so many people are at risk. Families are at risk. Uh, children are at risk. And so we want to be able to service from the uh, kupunas to the keikis. You know, everybody, we, wanna, we want to be able to to service the entire family and anyone who comes we will not turn away anyone you know and so I'm excited about that and um, just not only that we would like to provide service in where if a person wants a haircut you know we could provide that if if a person wants some some spiritual counseling we provide that if they want some um, counseling some other areas we'd like to provide that and this is where our community uh, um, professionals will come in our community professionals who are willing to service and give back to the community um, they will won't be a paycheck for this one, but it's something that they're saying, we want to give back to our community and uh, we want to offer our services. I'm glad you brought that up about um, that it won't be a paycheck. Mm -hmm. So people are volunteering their time. Yes. And I read some time ago that one of the secrets to success is volunteering. Yes. yes. Share how medical and non-medical volunteers can register. Okay. So the AMEN website is amenfreeclinic.org. And I went on that website myself, and I went through and I registered. And you can register as a professional or a support staff. So you, whether you, you're a professional or not, you can volunteer your services. We will need people to fulfill some 14 different categories of, um, of support. So we will have areas that if I could just, just can I, you mind if I just Please, say Please go to, and, and I want people to take note. And also look at the beautiful sanctuary where we, worship every Sabbath. Yes. This is where people will yes. be coming to it's the exciting. free clinic mm -hmm. and you'll have health lectures. So let's go through the list of the volunteers of medical. Now this is on the medical side of volunteers that yes. you're going to discuss. Yes. Well, let me, let me say all 14. Let me list all okay. 14 all right. and, and people can say, hmm, I can help in this area or, you know, that one, I'm not so... I had a lady who called me yesterday and she says, um, Pastor, I am not a professional, uh, but I'm retired and I have time. So we will need some 20 to 30 people who will help us to set up and break down every day. Every you day. Every, now, every, for those before four, you go on the, the knees, yes. give us the dates. All right. Excitingly, this is August 23 and 24, which is a Thursday and a Friday, and 26 and 27, Sunday and Monday. And it will be held at 2313 Nu'uanu Avenue, right beside the Royal Mausoleum. Okay. Yes, uh, that's our our church is located adjacent to the mausoleum. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's hear the All list. All right, so the list are, of course, um, we will have um, people who are helping with uh, registration. That's going to be a huge, seeing um, 250 to 300 people per day, huge registration. Uh, if that's not organized, it'll be chaos. So we'll have computers and, and people sitting out there to register peop, um, people. All right, we have the medical clearance um, team. That's, that person needs to be a, a physician, a doctor. Also, the uh, dental director, that person also needs to be 
a dentist. Uh, we have the medical director. They're asking for that person to do also be a, a physician. Then the vision director, um, that one, that person must be an optometrist. And so we have these professional areas. The sterilization director, uh, that person must be 18 or older. Uh, we also want um, to have someone who helps us to control the crowd. When we have 250, 300 people lining up to be serviced, we need to be able to uh, tell them where to go. Some are in a waiting area. So the, the, our church sanctuary will be uh, primarily the waiting area. And while people are there, we're doing financial seminars. We're doing um, uh, any other health lectures on uh, different areas. So we want to, to feed the mind, you know, the body and, and the spirit, you know. Um, also, central supplies. This is a person that if dental needs something, um, they will dispatch someone to get that. And so we'll have that. Also, uh, a director for the volunteers. As pastor, um, I will be interfacing with everyone, but I can't do everything. And so I need the help. So we need someone who can um, be our volunteer director. Uh, food services. This is something that we, we want to be able to give people healthy um, foods. And people are, are there uh, almost a half a day waiting to be serviced. And so we'll, we'll need to um, give them um, something to hold them over. Um, a plant director. So. So we have our the bathrooms and the facilities, just so someone to help take care of those. We'll do in-house, but we'll find someone in-house for that. Our marketing, you know, someone reaching out to the different organizations, uh, that is gonna be key because there are supplies that we will need and we may need to knock on the doors of Home Depot or Walmart or Lowe's or um, I've written a, a letter to um, one of the airlines requesting because the doctors who are coming, they're going to be bringing um, a lot of supplies. They're bringing, expecting to have um, 10 to 15 chairs for the, the, for the um, dental, dental chairs. And so they're bringing all of that supplies in and that needs to be shipped and that's going to be extra cost. And so I'm reaching out to one of the airlines to see if they would help us help us out with that. Also, someone uh, for chaplaincy. We know that people need spiritual care. Not everybody believes the same, but this is not about believing the same. This is about the fact that people have that spiritual need. They may need a prayer or they may not. They may need some counseling. They may be going through a rough time medically, relationally, um, just just personal. Uh, so, so we want to be able to, to meet the needs of the entire person. And then also um, hospitality. Um, just, just really, people want to come and they see smiling faces. Yes. They want to come and know that they're at the right place. They want to come and know that, you know what? I've, got, I've had a bad week or I've had a bad day or my morning just did not start out right. Uh, and come in and someone smiling and say, how are you doing today? We're glad that you're here. We want to serve you. How can we do that? So those are the 14 areas that we will be um, asking for volunteers. And at, um, at a, a particular time, I'll need to meet with all these individuals. And since the AMEN team are there in California, uh, we will have them online and um, they will give us directions. They will give us information um, before they finally do come here in August. This is exciting. This is something that's needed. I don't think this is, has this ever? Not that I know of. I, held I have, here in Honolulu, this freak type of clinic? This, and, and this is a clinic and not a fair. And so, uh, uh, you know, in, in terms of a clinic, you're actually doing, you know, the medical work. And you will now need to refer, let's say you, you do encounter someone who, who, is, who does have a, a condition that needs servicing right away. Okay. We will need to refer that person to a local hospital where they can be cared for um, beyond what the clinic can do. So this is not a fair just to do a blood pressure check and, and, and so on, but it's, it's uh, people will be outfitted with eyeglasses. People will be, they'll be clean, uh, teeth will be cleaned if there's extraction that needs to be done, that will be done, and, and so on. So uh, it's a full-on a full on medical clinic. Okay. Well, we will talk further about this. We're going to take a quick break and come back and talk about the free clinic. All right.
Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Gabrielli. I'm the host for Young Talents Making Way here on FinTech Hawaii. We talk every Tuesday at 11 a.m. about things that matters to tech, matter to science, to the people of Hawaii with some extraordinary guests. The students of our schools who are participating in science fair. So Young Talents Making Way every Tuesday at 11 a.m. only on FinTech Hawaii. Mahalo. I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? And they told me they were making music. They said I could play, so any chance to play at all. You know, that's my life. I love music. Yeah, I saw it. Welcome back to Sister Power, and our VIP guest is Pastor Payne, and we are discussing Impact Your Health, Amen Free Clinic in Honolulu. Yes. And this is exciting that we're going to have a free clinic here in Honolulu for vision and for medical. Yes. And before the break, we were talking about um, the volunteers that you need, medical and non-medical um, volunteers. Yes. Now, will the let's say clients, mm -hmm. uh, will they need to make an appointment? No, but they can. It's, it's nice if they do. They can go on the website and click um, that they're, they're patient, that they're coming to be serviced. So you can, you can, the same website, you can volunteer as a professional or volunteer as a non-professional, but you can also click where you want to set an appointment for one of those four days. And again, those days are October 23 and 24. Uh, that's a Thursday and a Friday and uh, August 26 and 7, a Sunday and a Monday. And so they can go on the website and, and um, choose one of those days when they, they would like to come. What we are wanting, we want to involve, th this thing is to, uh, again, is to impact our community. Um, there are a number of, of people, and I, I believe you may have, um, have some statistics on this, there are a number of individuals who are without health care. Six percent. Six percent. Six percent of the population, yes. they, do, they are uninsured. Yes. We have approximately almost 5,000 homeless people in Honolulu, yeah. Yeah. and Sad. approximately 8,000 people statewide. Yeah. So the free clinic is needed. Definitely, definitely. And we won't see everyone. <laughs> You know, we won't be able sure. to see everyone because of the capacity. However, the more doctors we have, the more we can service. The more dentists we have, the more we're able to service. The more volunteers we have, the more we're able to, to service. And I, I, it is my prayer that people will, when they, when they see the show, that they will think about, have I given anything mm. back to my community lately? And, um, you know, we, we enjoy the lifestyles that we have as professionals, as, as people who are, who are well-to-do, but we look at those who have need, and how can I, as an individual, give back to my community? Well, this is one way in which if you need to take perhaps a vacation day um, or, or, or so and said, you know what, I'm going to take one day and I'm going to volunteer for that day to help out this this health clinic um, there are families um, that that have the multi-generational families in Hawaii because of the cost of living multi-generations are living together yeah. so you have grandma and mom and you know and and the, the, the keikis the children the teenagers they're all there and sometimes they don't have care and so we can we can bring that whole family in to be serviced and when that family comes, sometimes um, I have seen it where a, a child is, is, we say squinting, you know, they're, yes. they're trying, it's very hard to see, and um, not realizing that that child needs glasses. 
but the, the family don't have the funding to be able to go down, take an exam, uh, and, um, and then to be outfitted with glasses. Um, the AMEN team will be bringing glasses um, for, for that and, and outfitting um, uh, anyone who have that need. And so they're, they're just these different areas. And so if people are, are wanting to give back to their community um, financially or, or physically, um, coming, um, if, you're, if you are a pastor or a, 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 um, a clergy and you want to give spiritual care, if you are an individual who is, um, you're a professional, you're a psychologist, and you'd like to offer your service to, to do, um, you know, it will have a, we can have a room for you where you can help families that are in need of, um, of care. You know, listening to you, Pastor Payne, this is the time in August where I think all the churches should come together. I think so. This is a time that the sororities should come together, yes. the fraternities should come together, yes. um, the Rotary Clubs yes. can reach out. There's so much that's needed here, mm -hmm. and then we can just all come together mm -hmm. and put smiles on yes. people's faces. Yes. I have a question for you. Yes. What do patients need to to know, amen, uh, do not require proof of insurance or employment, right? No. Is there any type of... Um, we would like for them to have an ID. Okay. Uh, that way that they're recorded in, in, in the system. That, right. they, that they are, um, that they are, we can put a, uh, a name and we know that often many of them will not have addresses, but if they have some kind of ID of, of some sort um, to be able to, because let's say um, we, they won't be able to get their glasses that day. Okay. All right. So they will be, um, they will be fitted for the glasses. They will be tested. So in about um, two to three weeks, those glasses will come back, and I will need to be able to get in touch with that family, that individual, or tell them to come check back with us in three weeks or so, and 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 to be able to fit your glasses. And so that is a part of the the, the system. So so they will be in a they will will have to um, register. They will be we will need some information on them, um, just like uh, the food bank. You know, mm. a food bank um, often. Um, you know, a person come and they have that need because we get um, food from um, the Hawaii Food Bank, then um, we do need to record that X number of persons and here's their, here's their name. We don't take social security number and all that kind of stuff, not that, but just, just having some kind of um, indication of an ID of that person. So this is a time that I did see on one of the social medias that a gentleman goes out and he gives free haircuts to all of the homeless. Mm, yes. And one lady on Monday, mm -hmm. she owns a restaurant and she on Monday she feeds the homeless. Yes. So what Honolulu Central Seven Day Adventist Church is offering mm -hmm. to our community mm -hmm. is a free clinic for four days. Yes. So let's go over, before we close, mm -hmm. let's go over the needs. Okay. Well, we, we did go over the purpose, and yes. let's go over that again. Yes, Ex yes. Go over the, um, the needs that will complete this free vision. Okay. Free clinic vision, I should say. So what we're trying to do is to be, um, to, to carry out the mission that Christ would have us to carry out to reach those who are in need. Not everybody have a need, but those who are in need and, um, and come, we want to serve them. Uh, we want to serve them by, um, uh, lots of people have dental needs, uh, and so we'd like to satisfy that. Lots of people have other medical needs. We'd like to let them know where, where they are. If a person come and they're at risk, um, the doctors will do A1C tests to, to help them to, to, to really see where they are. Are they diabetic? What, what, what are the things that they need to really take, you know, look at, um, educate, educate, educate. And this is what this, this is all about. We need, to, we need to educate the mind. We need to let them know that there are those who love and care about them. And that's why we're doing all of this. And so now bringing in all the volunteers from different churches and organizations and, and um, um, uh, hospitals who are willing to help us um, come together. We can service 
about 1,200 people or more. Well, let's show a picture of the church on the outside where people will be lining up. Yes. And this is Honolulu Central, yes. Seventh-day Adventist Church, 2313 Nu'uanu Avenue. Yes. And this is where the free clinic will start. Exactly. Right at this beautiful yes. location. Yes. We have a huge lanai area, and there the computers will be set up, and people are able to come in and register. And from there, they will then go into the sanctuary where, where um, different things will be happening, whether uh, a seminar on finances, a seminar are on um, you know spiritual care different things will be happening that they can take part in when their names are called for medical and their names are called for dental names are called to be outfitted with glasses all those different things will be will take place there and I also know there will be HIV testing yes Yes, yes, quite interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we're having, I'm, I'm calling on all of my friends to come out and help. <laughs> Thank you. And Thank I, you. I think this is so needed. Yes. Um, I think that if you're retired, mm -hmm. as you were speaking, and yes. you have a few hours yes. or a day to yes. lend to the Amen Clinic, mm -hmm. I would ask you to come out and, and, and volunteer. Yes. Before we close, I want you to look into that camera mm -hmm. and give us that last word on the people and the needs, the purpose, and yes. why people should come. Yes. I appeal to you, um, uh, those who are listening and watching this show, that as you have been blessed, we're asking you to give back, whether it's monetarily or with your time. If you're a professional and you're able to give your services during this time, August 23 and 24, 26 and 27, um, please go to our, the website. It is amenfreeclinic.org and register as a professional or register as an individual um, who will be a, a support staff. We need you, uh, we, need the body, we need people to come together so that we can service our community. Thank you, Pastor Payne. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been my Thank pleasure you, being here. Thank you, audience, for spending part of your day with us. Oceans of Aloha, uh, oceans of Aloha peace and love.